Thank you to BenQ for sending us this sample. This is the Trevolo Bluetooth speaker. This thing is looking very nice. It comes in a variety of colors. This one is the light blue. It has Bluetooth 5.0, voice command. It also has a 12-hour battery life and an accompanying application. This will be a unboxing and review all in one, so we will let you guys know our findings as we go through it here. Now, because this is the one that they sent us in Japan to our Japan Goody Reader office, everything will be in Japanese, but it will be in the respective language that you guys choose. So hold on to all that information. You have one USB-C and you have a four pin 3.5 mil headphone jack on here. You also get an adapter that goes from full USB into your wall. This is North American standard, Japanese standard, American Canada etc you got these nice little trays I don't know if there's anything else in here because that is the bottom tray nope that is everything let's put that off to the side and check it out is it the color on the box it does seem to be it does seem to be this thing is really heavy by the way very very heavy I'm not sure what that is that could be an IR sensor of some sort or just where you kind of control via other remotes because there are smart home remotes that you can program to do various things you have this for charging at the back and the 3.5 mil headphone jack I would have liked that to be kind of streamlined because the door hinge does get in the way of it a little bit. And if you go like that, it kind of tilts as you try to put it down. So not a design flaw, just a particular thing of mine. You can see here it is made in China. It does have the model name AU3500. This thing does have some subwoofing technology at the bottom there for air to escape. And a very nice grill that for the most part, if I catch the light into it, looks mostly perforated to the point where a lot of this is speaker. All the way down to there and around there. Not so much around the corner right there, but it is pretty much all speaker. You get a talk button, a wave button. We'll have to look at what that is uh, upcoming. You have a mute, you have power on, and you have Bluetooth and volume up and down. So the first thing we have to do is download the accompanying app and start this. It's not quite as instant as using the app itself. You do need to connect to the unit itself outside of the app before you continue. Finally getting some answers here too, that is the distance detector. As you see there, probably shooting a laser into your eye socket as you are getting closer and further away from it. Then based off of how far away you are, it's going to play different tones, different kilohertz, and it's going to ask you whether you did or didn't hear them in order to calibrate it properly. The app shows off your battery level right there, what sound mode you're on, live learning, video, music, etc., and the actual phone name that it is connected to. You can go over here and this one will detect the safe volume depending on how far you are and they make sure that there's no obstructions in front of it and no direct sunlight on top of the unit. After that, with me being right here in the real world in conjunction with this sensor, you can go and do redetect, and it'll detect exactly how far you are, the ambient volume, whether it's quiet or loud, and decide the optimal volume. So this is what it has deemed proper for it to display based off of where you are in conjunction to the actual unit. Now that it is set up, I have my phone here. There's only one more thing we have to do. Test it with the Bluetooth and then test it with the supplied cable. I actually do have a 3.5 mil cable on my phone because I rock an Xperia. A lot of phones actually get rid of the headphone jack, but luckily enough, I do have that. So I have some public domain royalty free music we're going to play and we will start with the Bluetooth test first and then move over to the cable. So honestly, unless you crack out a decibel meter and you kind of go over how loud it was, the highs and lows and see what's peaking and what's not, unless you kind of break it down and assess it from that degree, you're not going to have any noticeable difference between the Bluetooth and the cable. We put in the four pin right here, four level. 
3.5 mil headphone jack in the back and the front. We also disconnected it and did the Bluetooth. We cannot hear any substantial difference. I would say if you have had to put a gun to our head, the cable was a little bit more rich and the Bluetooth was not as much of a rounded out gamut of sounds, but you would have to be hard pressed for the average person to find anything wrong with that. This thing has a ton of bass. You could hear this, these two release holes puffing as those speakers verberated inside. It was a tremendous amount of bass. It was very loud. This thing has a sensor for you. There's really no downsides to this whole thing. It is a complete package. It looks great. It feels great. It's built great. It has a perfect angle. It's putting different things to the test like surround sound through the back, you have multiple buttons up top, laser guided sensors to measure how far you are away from it. It is an absolute amazing package. Thank you to BenQ for sending this to us. This was a great thing to kind of go over. It really broke the mold out of the other things we cover on a daily basis. Very much appreciated. If you guys want to grab one of these, details are down below and thanks for watching.